Welcome. Today we are going to start about J unit and J unit version 5. So what is J unit? J unit is a unit testing framework for Java programming language. It's very simple. It is a framework which helps us to test our program written in Java programming language. That is J unit. But let's go ahead and try to understand what exactly is unit testing mean. So let's say I have a program here. This is my program which takes two numbers and then it does the addition of those two numbers and gives me an output. doesn't matter it is written in any language it doesn't matter but what is the expectation is if I pass 1 and 2 I should get 3 as my output if I pass 2 and 3 I should get 5 as the output so that's what I expect as the unit functionality when I provide these two unit. So this is how I can be sure that my program is right. If I pass 2 and 3 it should give me 5. If it gives 5 for these two input then I say yes my program for addition is working fine. Similarly if I want to test it again with one more value 1 and 2 and then I should get an output of 3. Then again I am getting a surety that yes the logic that I have written for my program this unit logic for adding is working fine. But wow, how are we testing this? By manually providing input to our program and waiting to see the output. This we can do is fine, but what if our program becomes big and big and big and there will be many logic and functionality that we will write in our application. So it won't be always possible to test everything like this unit wise manually. That's where we need to do unit testing. Unit testing. And here the unit that we are doing testing is the addition logic. And we have done this manually by providing some inputs. We could also, these are the positive scenarios that we tested. We could also test the negative scenario. If we pass 2 and 7, the positive scenario is 9 so I should check for x expected so here is my value 2 and 7 so what I am expecting I am expecting this logic should provide me 9 so this 9 is my expected result I expect and if the actual result also comes as 9 which will be actual If my expected and actual becomes same, then I will say the test pass. The test pass. But let's say if I provide 2 and 7 and I expected it as 9, but my actual would come let's say 8. Or maybe my actual would come something like not 8 but maybe let's say I get an actual of 5. So if I provide 2 and 7 and I ask it to do an addition logic expectation was to get a 9 but actually I got 5. This means my test fails. So what I can conclude from here? 
that something might have changed in the program some logic has gone wrong so what do you what do we mean by that somebody was trying to do some changes and he by mistakenly instead of plus did a minus because of which we see different result which is different than expected so expected was 9 but we got actual as 5 so this way unit testing is now helping us to avoid this kind of problems to be injected in our code so if we have written test cases unit test cases to test each and every functionality of our application and we have pass some values and we know what should be the positive scenario test cases what should be the actual and expected value if we have known that for every test cases then if somebody in between in future modifies that logic this test would start to fail and hence we will be able to protect a bug which is this one to be going to production we will stop it we will not allow this code to go to production because it was expected to do addition but now it was doing subtraction this is how we can solve the problem of injecting bug and bringing to production with the help of proper unit testing so this is what is unit testing in unit testing we test a piece of functionality by passing some values we expect certain result and if the actual result matches the expected behavior we say the test is passed but if the actual and the expected behavior are different then we say test is fail and the, if the test is fail which, we, which, which, which gives us an indication there is something wrong with the logic in the program hence we have to fix that issue so this is what is test driven development tdd test driven development you continue to do testing whenever you develop your code and this makes your code a very high quality code with less issues and bugs to be landing in production you will have a very clean and good working functionality that will go to production if you follow a test driven development approach tdd unit test helps us to achieve that so now we know what is unit test so j unit is actually a fun a framework in java j unit is a framework in java which helps to do this unit testing j unit is a framework in java which helps to do this unit testing for our java written programming code and the version which we are going to look is the latest version which is called JUnit 5. So JUnit is the testing unit testing framework for unit testing the programming written in Java code and the version we will use is JUnit 5. Thank you. Let's continue in the next video.